when I first signed with Nebraska, uh, people in California said, do you know what the N stands for in that helmet? <laughs> I said, no. Said, it stands for knowledge. He said, yeah. That's not how you spell knowledge. <laughs> After being here for four years and playing under Coach Osborne, what he built and what Demani built, I soon later found out what the N stood for. It stands for family, it stands for togetherness, it stands for winning. Stands for trust, stands for resilience, perseverance. Learned so much from so many people that are in this room. Coach Osborne, one of the one of the greatest coaches of all time. Never yelled at us. Always gave us positive affirmation. Second father. Second father. My mom and dad wanted me to go to a place that they could trust the head coach and taking care of their son and making sure he made the right choices. And Coach Osborne did that in his everyday life. He treated all of us like it was his son. And, you know, I just want to say thank you, Coach Osborne. You're a great man for what you've done and touched so many people's lives in, in, in Congress and in, in football. So I want to say thank you to Coach Osborne. Say thank you to Coach McBride, a great defensive coordinator great defensive coordinator. Just like Lawrence Pete said, tough love, but he set a standard for us on defense. He set a standard for us on how to play football. When I got into the NFL, all the coaches knew about Coach McBride. If you played under Coach McBride, you knew how to play the game of football. You knew how to play defense. They knew that you weren't going to take plays off. They knew that you wouldn't just Go on the sideline if you had a small ailment. They knew that you would play and get 110% on every play. I just want to say thank you, Coach McBride. My mom and dad, thank you so much. I remember growing up, my dad took me to the backyard, training, put sticks in the, in the grass, tell me, you know, put some moves on the sticks, or go on the track, just put me on the track and train me. If you want to be the best, you have to pay the price. My dad always told me, success never takes the wrong man. And that's true. And I, I, I thank the Hall of Fame committee for giving me this award. I also want to thank Donald and Rachel, my brother-in-law, for being there. You know, Donald and my brother-in-law since high school have been there and supported me this, uh, this whole time. Um, Jeff and Carlos, who are my best friends as well, supported me and been there for me throughout my, uh, my pro NFL career. I just want to say thank you. So Nebraska, it's a great, it's a great place. Uh, you know, going back to Coach Osborne, uh, you know, some of the games that he would explain and depict the outcome, I never understood it as a player. He would sit in front of us before a game and tell us quarter by quarter how the game would play out. <laughs> And I never understood it. Never understood it. And now I understand why people think and <laughs> sometimes say, this guy's God. <laughs> <laughs> because I think I thought he was psychic. <laughs> I thought he was psychic and I said, now I understand why people think he's God. But if it wasn't that, he put the work in into being who he is uh, today. And I followed, I followed that. I, I had a great foundation, not only in the NFL, now that I'm retired in life. Coach Osborne helped me out with a lot of things I mentioned. Coach McBride, my father, my mother, even my sister, gave me a lot of guidance throughout my life and helped me with my, my choices in, in life. And being a part of the, the, the Husker Nation and being a part of the Black Shirts, and won a national championship. There's, there's no place like Nebraska. There's no place like Nebraska. And we all know that in this room. And I'm just so fortunate and, and thankful that I could be a part of this and, and go into, you know, the Hall of Fame of Nebraska, you know, this early. I didn't play the game for accolades. I just played it for fun. And for me not to get injured and, and break the record and things that I did, you know, that's great, but I just played it for fun and, and I had a great time playing the game. Uh, 
I just want to say thanks for everyone again. Uh, you know, like Mike Brown said, it's about family. I have you know, two kids now, and life is just beginning. You know, a lot of people say, you know, what are you going to do after football, all these things like that. You know, the family and life begins when you have kids. And you look at everything a lot differently when you have kids. And you want to do the best for them and take care of their kids as, as, as especially you can. And Mike, Coach McBride said one day when we were in the uh, locker room, he said, make, make friends here. You're going to find some of your best friends in this locker room. He told a story, he says, I have friends till this day. This was when maybe, you know, in the late 90s, and he said he can call up at any time to help him out. I found that person, Mike Brown. I can call Mike Brown any time. Doesn't matter. He'll be there. Mike Brown told me about that. I didn't, at the time, I didn't think so. I was about, I'd been in school from Los Angeles. And I found somebody, Mike Brown. Somebody that I trust, somebody that I know I can call at any time, they'll be there for me. So I just want to say thank you again to all the coaches, everybody who played a pivotal part in my life growing up, my mom, my dad, everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be a part of this great tradition of Nebraska and to be a part of a great company in the whole thing. Thank you.